Free your mind, your ass will follow. Okay? Sure, that's the theme tonight. <clears throat> I also would like to welcome you. It's our 10th anniversary of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame dinner. And when we started 10 years ago, it was like we didn't think, we were very seriously worried that anybody would come. But it was like a field of dreams. And we built it, and you came. And then I asked, you know, why has this ceremony and why has this evening become so special to all of us? I mean, why, why is this night so different than all the others? I got it, okay. <laughs> well, I think that, Neil, I think that the reason it is, that it is different is that, you know, the people who are involved in the day-to-day -day running of the Hall of Fame and who nominate uh, and vote on the inductees, uh, the pe or the people in the record business, the musicians themselves, and those of us who write about it and promote it and, and live it, um, are people who have grown up with music and, and love music. And then this evening then is about honoring the music and the importance of music in our lives and, and honoring the great artists who have created that music. And, and that's been the spirit of this dinner since the first day we started. And it, and it hasn't been easy to walk the line between commerce and art, which, you know, that sort of delicate place between the bottom line and uh, our hearts. But uh, that's what we have done, and we've tried to keep uh, our special spirit about this dinner intact uh, throughout these years. And that's the spirit that we hope, and we've prayed, and we've tried to make come alive in Cleveland next year and keep that thing that's so special there. It's taken the contributions, obviously, of many people, you know, were far too many to mention, uh, to make this work. Who is yakking in the background? Yeah. The, the, genero it's the generosity of all the people in the music industry. It's the hard work of our supporters in Cleveland. And it's all the fine people on the Hall of Fame board and the staff. And I didn't get a chance to see what Bob's comments were, but I'd just say if I had to pick a name that I wanted to single out here tonight, it would be that of Susan Evans. Thank you, Susan. Our, our doubters over the years should know that our biggest financial and, and, and civic supporter has been the city of Cleveland, the state of Ohio. They, they had many legitimate reasons to, to think that we were really crazy. I mean, we did some crazy things, but George Vonovich, who was the mayor of Cleveland when we first decided to locate the Hall of Fame there, is now, he's now the governor of Ohio. And George is here tonight. And George, where are you? Please stand up and take a bow. You gave us the most money and the most support. George, where are you? Oh, he's the man next to Isaac Hayes. OK. I, I find it, I, I think it's stunning that finally, after all these years, that I don't have to stand up here and promise you again that we're gonna build this thing, that we have actually done it. It's the end of making bullshit promises. This is the year that we're gonna deliver. The museum will open on Labor Day weekend. It opens to the public, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And we are gonna throw, at that time, a grand opening, uh, an event that I hope will bring that kind of love and the fun and the spirit that we've known at these dinners all these years to the entire world.